Hello everyone, this is Noble H. Mushtack, and today we are doing this math problem. This is from Maine Association of Math League, October 2000. Round 1. Problem 1. Okay. So, if A, B, C are digits, for which 7, A2, minus 4, 8, B, equals 7c3, find a plus b plus c. Okay, so this is a rather interesting problem. First, we need to a actually have an equation. So, 7a2. 7 is the in the hundreds place, so that's 700. a is in the tens place, so that's 10 times a. 2 is in the ones place, so that's just 2. Minus 48b. 4 is in the hundreds place, so that's 400. 8 is in the tens place, so that's 80. And B is in the ones place, so that's just B. Uh, that equals C73. C is in the hundreds place, so that's 100C. 7 is in the tens place, so that's 70. And 3 is in the ones place, so that's 3. So, now we can simplify. 700 plus 2 is 702, plus 10A. Minus 400 plus 80 is 480, plus P equals 100c plus 70 plus 3. 70 plus 3 is 73. Okay. So, w now we can distribute the minus sign on this side. Minus 480 minus b equals... Oh, I made a typo right here. This should just be 100. Okay, so 702 minus 480 is 222. Now I'm just going to switch the sides, so it's 100. Okay. 100c plus 73 equals 222 plus 10a. Minus B. So uh, here, there I just switched sides. So now I'm going to subtract everything by 73. 222 minus 73 is 149 plus 10A minus B. So now I'm going to subtract by 10A and add B to get rid of 10A minus B on the other side. Now I'm going to factor out the 10 from 100c and minus 10a. That's 10 times 10c, because 10 times 10c is 100c, minus a, because 10 times a, 10 times minus a is minus 10a. And we still have plus b equals 149. Now, the reason I did that is to show you, is to get it into this form. Here, R is B, and Q is 10C minus A. Q is the quotient, and R is the remainder. Now, when we have quotient and remainder, we have a division problem. So you might ask, what's the division problem? The division problem is 149 over 10. So when you have something in this form where you have a number times an integer plus an integer equals another number, like 10q plus r equals 149, that you have this for formula where you can find the quotient and the remainder. So we can actually do 149 out, so I'm just going to do 10, 49. Second. Actually, that should, that should be over right there. Okay. I'm just doing division right now. Okay. okay. So, as you can see, we have 14 is a quotient, and the remainder is 9. So, Q, which is 10C minus A, equals the quotient, which is 14. R, which is B, equals 9. 
Now, to get 10, for, with 10c minus a, we have to find a and we have to find c. So I'm just going to add a to both sides to make it simpler. And you have to remember that a and c are digits, which means they'll be within 0 and 9. So. Okay. So we can just guess and check for C different values from 0 to 9 and see which one works. So C equals 0, then this equals 0, and A plus four, equals A plus 14. That means A equals negative 14. That doesn't work because A isn't within 0 and 9. So test C equals 1. 10 times 1 is 10 equals A plus 14. Subtract by both sides by 14. And we get A equals negative 4. That doesn't work because it's not between 0 and 9. Let's check C equals 2. C 10 times 2 is 20, which equals A plus 14. Subtract by 14. And A equals 6. That works because A is in, within 0 and 9. So we have A equals 6. B equals 9. And C equals 2. Now we just add all those together. 6 plus 9 is 15, plus 2 is 17. So our answer is 17. And that's it. So, yeah. Have fun doing math.